Uh, Birmingham, please to take luggage to bungalow number nine and arrange suitable accommodation for self. Yes, sir. Where are you going, Pop? Well, uh, earnestly desire to have period of quiet contemplation by swimming pool. <laughs> I'm going to have a period of quiet contemplation by the pool myself later. Yes, well, uh, personal reasons for contemplation differ from those of number two son. <laughs> Miner, that must be a very interesting business. Must be. You know, my father, my father was a miner. Oh, he was a miner. Way back in, uh... Oh, no, no, I, I guess it was my grandfather who was a miner. Yeah, but it wasn't my grandfather. Excuse me, sir. I gotta see a book about a girl. Now, don't go away. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. A book. No. Book. So you know it's very bad under a tree like this with the pretty eyes like you. Why don't you go over there with a the nice sunshine and read the book? It's nice over there. Thanks. I think that's just what I'll do. Oh now, well, wait a minute, honey. Please, I. Oh, don't go away, mad. Nice girl. Hello, Charlie. Well, Lieutenant Mike, at first question, reliability of own eyesight. Vincent O'Brien, San Francisco playboy, slowly but surely reaching the ragged edges of delirium treatments. Uh-huh. Then uh, working on case. Yeah, on leave from the force to the government. And I'm playing this thing for all it's worth. I see. At first, think uh, Lieutenant Mike are uh, giving prohibition party kick in teeth. Hello, Mr. O'Brien. Well, hello, honey. Aren't you going in the water? Water? Oh, that's for codfish. Oh, yes. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Have a nice time now. A nice time. <laughs> Down here on something? Yes. I'm uh, endeavoring to unravel a small desert mystery. Yeah? Mr. Manning, head of Golden Eye Mine. Manning, huh? You know, Charlie, I think we're barking up the same tree. 